the Veeps meet, and the big dog barks. I'm ABC's Rick Klein with the latest in politics this week. When the number twos met on stage, it was all about the number ones. He called Mexicans rapists and criminals. Donald Trump during this campaign has called Mexicans rapists and criminals. When Donald Trump says Mexicans are rapists and criminals, he still wouldn't have a fraction of the insults that Hillary Clinton leveled when she said that half of our supporters were a basket of deplorables. Tim Kaine stood out for his feisty attempts to dominate the vice presidential debate. Six times tonight, I have said to Governor Pence, I can't imagine how you can defend your running mate's position on one issue after the next. Mike Pence didn't take that bait, but he steadied Donald Trump's campaign by taking the fight right back to Hillary Clinton. It was the weak and feckless foreign policy of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama has awakened an aggression in Russia. Clinton got aggressive on her own, seizing on a leaked report suggesting Donald Trump paid no federal income taxes for more than a decade. He thinks it's smart, smart to give zero to our military, zero to our vets, zero to health and education. But Clinton's husband went wildly off script, teeing up a fresh argument for Donald Trump. So you've got this crazy system where all of a sudden 25 million more people have health care, and then the people are out there busting it sometimes 60 hours a week, wind up with their premiums doubled and their coverage cut in half. Next up is round two for Clinton and Trump, a town hall style debate in St. Louis. Not a natural fit for either candidate style, but a great chance to connect directly to voters. Rick Klein, ABC News, Washington.